Aloha, my name is Amber and I'm a garden coordinator with Grow Some Good. And I'm here to talk to you today about two of my favorite plants. Those are beets and chard. I'm going to talk a little bit about how you tell the difference between the two, uh, how you harvest each, and then I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes, beet chard slaw. So when they're small, they can be really challenging to tell the difference between because beets and chard are actually just different cultivars of the same subspecies. So they're basically the same plant with slight variations. So you can see the leaf shape is similar, the coloration, and the challenging part is that chard and beets both come in a variety of colors. For instance, I have here pink stemmed chard, I have a red stem chard, those are my favorite a yellow stemmed chard, and they even come in white and sometimes orange colors as well. And beets, this is a red beet, but you can also find golden beets, which have a similar coloration to our yellow stemmed chard. Now, as they grow and develop, the beets will start to develop a larger round root system, and the chard will send more of its energy to the leaves and it'll grow larger leaves and not have that same classic beet-shaped uh, root system. So when they're small, it can be challenging to tell the difference between the two, but as they grow, you should be able to start to see some of those changes. Beets tend to have smaller leaves than chard as they send most of their energy to developing their roots, which are the part that we normally eat. And you can see as they grow, they start to uh, pop out of the soil a little bit, depending on the variety of beet. Uh, it might be larger, it might be smaller, but when they're ready, you should be able to just work them right out of the ground. And then you have your beet and your greens, and both parts of the plant are edible. Unlike beets, chard sends most of its energy to its leaves, so the leaves are much larger and the root is going to be a bit smaller than your beets. When you harvest chard, you want to cut as close to the base of the stem as possible. That way, the plant isn't sending unnecessary energy to just little bits left behind. I'm going to go ahead and cut nice and close to the stem there to harvest my chard leaves. One of my favorite recipes to make with chard and beets is a nice chard beet slaw. So for this recipe, you need your chard, you need your beets, and I'm gonna add some carrots to this recipe, as well as some fresh thyme. The first step is to cut up your chard. And with chard, you can use both the leafy green part as well as the stem, so we're gonna keep both pieces. I'm going to cut the very ends off of my stems just to get rid of them. They start to turn a little bit brown after you cut them off of your plant. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove the leafy green from the center stem as the stem is a little bit thicker and I want to cut that nice and thin. And I'm going to go ahead and do that with both leaves. Then I'm going to take my greens, and I found the easiest way to cut these up since they're so large and you want nice thin strips, is to layer them up on top of each other. And I'm just going to roll it up into a log. And I'm going to start at one end, and I'm just going to cut really nice thin slices into that chart. I want really nice thin pieces for this slaw recipe. So you can see it looks like that. And now that I have my charred leaves all chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and slice up the stems of the chard. So you can see they're just thin little pieces that'll be tossed right in with the rest. So now that my chard is all nice and chopped up, I'm gonna go ahead and move it off of my cutting board and into my bowl. Set that aside. And now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my beet. Now with beets, again, you can eat both the greens and the root. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the greens right off of there and we'll set those aside. And then with the beet, it's got a pretty tough little skin on it. So I'm going to go ahead and peel that. 
Now if you have a vegetable peeler, you can use that, but I'm just going to use my knife here and very carefully try to remove that outer layer of skin. So I've gone ahead and peeled that entire beet, so I don't have any more skin left on there. And I'm gonna pull out a cheese grater, and I'm just gonna grate that beet. And if you don't have a cheese grater, you can also slice it really thin, but I like to have nice small bits of beet. So I finished grating my beet. I'm gonna scrape out the cheese grater, make sure I get all of that good stuff off of there. And once I have all of my grated beet, I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the bowl with the chard. And it adds a really nice bright color to those greens in there. And now I'm also going to add the beet greens because why not? You don't want to waste any of your veggies that are edible. So just like with the chard, I'm just going to slice it up really thin. All right, and I'm going to add that all to my bowl as well. I'm going to add some carrots and I'm going to do the same thing like I did with the beets. I'm going to go ahead and grate these carrots. Again, if you don't have a grater, you can just slice it really thin. So now that all my carrots are grated, I'm going to go ahead and add that to my bowl as well. And so now you can see I've got those charred greens and the charred stems, the shredded beets, and the shredded carrots. And this is going to go ahead and make up the base of my slaw. I'm just going to mix that together. And now I need to make a dressing for my salon. With the dressing, you can really get creative. I'm gonna show you my favorite variety. And you can always add in different herbs and spices to make it what you want. So for the dressing for this slaw, I'm gonna use a blender cup to blend it up. But if you don't have that, you can also use uh, just a knife, chop everything up really small and mix it together. And so I'm gonna use some basil, a clove of garlic, a lime, and some other ingredients, but I'm gonna start with those. So I'm gonna add the garlic, just cut it into some chunks into my bowl. I'm gonna cut this lime in half and use half of it for my dressing and just squeeze it right into that container. I'm gonna add my basil in there. I'm just gonna pull the leaves off. And if you don't have fresh herbs, that's okay. You can use dried ones too. They work just as well. And the base for my dressing is going to be yogurt. I really like a nice creamy dressing. So I'm just gonna do a couple of scoops of plain yogurt in there. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil as well. Just a splash. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add some fresh ground pepper some salt just to taste and at this point I'm ready to mix but I'm gonna add two other things that are optional I like a little bit of allspice just a dash and a little bit of nutmeg now I'm gonna go ahead and blend that up and my dressing will be ready to go so now my dressing is ready and I'm gonna go ahead Pour it over my veggies, my greens and my beets and my carrots. And I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh thyme because I really like that flavor as well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and mix that all together, really nicely coat all of the greens with that dressing. And there you go. Now you've got a nice beet and charred slaw ready to go. Enjoy.